In this example I want to show how you can support workflow in using say a DWG file and bringing it into Revit and using it for uh, creating uh, masses, conceptual massing. So what I'm going to do is let's just say I'm going to make a new project and I'll use the, use the standard template and then what I'm going to do is I'm ready to start creating a, a massing model so I can go to the massing in sight create an in-place mass. It tells me that it's switching on a display of mass objects and it gives a name or I can type in whatever I want to call it. We'll leave it as mass1. I'm now going to go and say that what I want to do is insert a, a CAD file. So I'm going to say import CAD. I'm going to find my AutoCAD drawing and um, I can say preserve the colors as they are. I can choose to say um, either show all the levels or let me specify the levels. I'm going to say put them in uh, origin to origin in my view. So 0, 0 in one drawing will be 0, 0 in the receiving drawing. And I'll say open up. Uh, because I had said specify, it shows me these levels. Uh, there was only just so you, that was, I did that just so you could see that I can choose. And then I'll say OK, and there's my, my drawing, and I'm actually ready to work with it. So you notice that I'm still in the middle of editing the model. If I go back to the Home tab now, I can continue to make my mass model. And what I want to show you is the option that says uh, Pick Lines. So what I'm doing now is if, if I uh, zoom in a bit closer so you can see it, I'm just going to pick the outside lines on this particular uh, building. So I got, uh, got that one there. I'm going to pick the outside here and here and here. Let's see how I'm doing. So let's do the continue going. Okay, I've got the outside shape of my building. I'm going to say VG, which shows me that uh, the tab that says that this is what I brought in, and I'm actually just switching it off so that I can see the geometry here. And then what I'm going to do is use the uh, the trim extend to corner to say if I took that line and that line that and that I think I've got closed edges if I've got closed edges then I can say uh, let's pick the geometry and let's create a form so I'm going to say create a solid form if I look at this now in 3D um, I've got my, my building um, as a mass form, why do you want to do this? You can you can edit. So, for example, I, I could slope the outside walls, um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the other options that are part part of it being a mass element um, that will kind of speed my production. So, if I say I'm finished with the mass object, what I want to show you is under massing in sight, I can do things like say I want to create a curtain system. And maybe here I could pick the surface that's sloping and then say, create me a surface. So with the uh, this curtain uh, system created, if I, if I pick the curtain system, I can go down here and say edit type and maybe I'll say duplicate. And let's just call it a custom four feet by 8 feet, something like that. So what I'm, what I'm going to say in here is that the grid spacing in one direction is going to be the 4 feet and in the other direction is going to be 8 feet and I'm actually saying these are fixed distances. So when I do that and OK I've got four feet in one direction, eight feet in the other direction. The other kind of properties that are on there, if you see, I can say uh, that, say if I said uh, center justified, watch the watch the panel move, so it's now centered on the distance. On the bottom, the other grid pattern, grid two, which is the horizontal pattern here. I'm going to leave that at its beginning so that the bottom is on the bottom of the wall and not have it move up a couple of inches to, to center it on the, this. So that looks about right the way it is. 
if I go into the uh, edit type you see that I can actually create or assign uh, mullions to the wall so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that I want to have on uh, uh, the grid one that the inside of my wall is going to be made up my curtain wall is going to be made up of the rectangular mullion <clears throat> and on the boundary which is if you think think of it as uh, left and right edges of the wall I could say that I wanted to have maybe an, a 5x5 five five L corner and I'll put that in since I've only got one of them I'm going to put it on on both both edges, the beginning and end of the wall on the inside here I'll say uh, that I want the um, rectangular grid this is in the other direction and then top and bottom I can come in and put in the let's, let's uh, make this the one and a half by two and a half rectangular okay just so you see the, the difference when I bring it in now the significance of all of this is that I can go in and I can edit and place these uh, curtain wall panels in my building uh, they are associated with the face of the mass element. So if I pick that mass element, in fact if I uh, pick it and say edit in place, you see that I can pick an edge and I can make a change. So imagine I, I increase the slope on this. Uh, anytime I want, I can pick on, I can, I'm finished with the mass, anytime I want I can pick on that uh, curtain panel system and say update to face and have it go back to uh, its location. So this is a different way of working. It's not like uh, drawing walls, doors, windows in kind of a construction documentation sense, although that you can use that for design as well, especially since you can use generic components, but this is another way of working when I can actually make the forms. The problem is this, right, so th this is a curtain panel system and I can do lots of things to uh, customize the components, but what I can't do is if I edit this mass and what I'm going to do is edit the profile on the top and I'll take out the uh, edge and I'll put in a curved form uh, these curtain wall systems are really um, not designed for anything other than flat planes or maybe ruled surfaces between objects so when I when I update this there's my my mass and I'm finished with the mass and then I pick my uh, panel system so I'm trying to find the edge so that I can select it see the whole thing highlighted uh, let's do it a different way let's grab it all let's look in the filter and say I want to pick the uh, cutting panels grids da -da -da -da. Uh, let's just that's me just selected the curtain system and then what I'm going to do is say update to face you see what it did is, is as long as it's uh, kind of a ruled surface like think of it as certain number of points along the bottom certain number of points along the top and it's fairly regular then it will adapt and do this but if I got a really complex surface um, this would break down